Hi, everybody. I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. Joining me now is my colleague, Forbes staff writer, Zach Everson. Zach, thanks for coming back on. Thanks for having me again, Brittany. It is always a pleasure, and you are reporting the amount of money Bernie Sanders made in book payments while in office, and the number isn't really anything to sneeze at. What can you tell us? Sure, he has pulled in $2.5 million as an author uh, going back through 2011. Now, he's been in, in, in the Senate and even Congress for a little bit longer than that. They didn't have stats available. So uh, we were only able to go back through 2011. So it is $2.5 million, which is uh, a little more than $400,000 more than what he has earned over that period in his day job as a U.S. Senator. Let's talk about that day job a little bit, him in politics. His career in politics has spanned since the 90s. Can you walk us through it? Sure. Um, you know, he got elected. I believe he won his first vote for, for it was mayor in Vermont by one vote. Um, very small total. He he went on to get elected as Vermont's congressperson and then joined the Senate. I believe it was in 2007. And, uh, you know, he, he the books, though, he ran for president in 2016, uh, ran again in 2020. And we recently we've seen the books really start to take hold um, in recent years, along with those presidential campaigns when he's had a higher profile. Walk us through these books now a little bit. You are reporting his debut memoir uh, dropped in 1997. What was that one called? And what are those other books about as well? Yeah, it was originally called Outsider in the House and reflected his election to Congress. But then upon his uh, run for the presidency in 2015, they revised Outsider in the House to become Outsider in the White House and uh, re-released it. Um, you know, his other books are, are, are it's, it's Bernie speak, you know, one of them is it's okay to be angry about capitalism, our revolution, Bernie's guide to political revolution. Um, uh, one of them is just a speech that he gave while he was in, in, in the Senate. Um, but most of them, it, it was really from, from 2016, 17, 18 and 2023 is when his books have come out. So he's been in politics a long time, but it wasn't until recently that he, uh, started his side gig. Zach, we have talked about um, members of the Senate, members of the House, and their books at length for, I believe, over a year now. And every <laughs> single time this conversation happens, we always talk about ethics. So first, how is this ethical? And two, how much did his political committee spend? Because they did buy his books. Right, right. So it explicitly states in the Senate rules when they are, it, it bars them from receiving an honoraria, but it specifically says, they are okay to accept book advances. And that is that is different between the Senate and the House. The House, they are not allowed to accept book advances. They can still write books, but any payments need to come through royalties. So, um, you know, senators are explicitly allowed to do it. And some of them do. You know, we, we've seen Bernie, we've seen Ted Cruz. Uh, Elizabeth Warren, I think, has brought in about four and a half million dollars from her books. Um, so yeah, you know, it's, it's not a bad way to, to supplement or, you know, by supplement, in, I think in Warren's case, double your uh, income. So Bertie here bought um, a total of $843,000 worth of books from publishers, or his campaign did rather. And they were the publishers who put out his book. Um, don't know for sure that they're his book, but it certainly seems likely. Uh, FEC rules allow candidates or campaigns to buy the candidates' books as long as it's either done in a way that the candidate doesn't profit from the transaction, which usually means they pay the publisher directly, or if it is done in a way where the, where the candidate might profit from royalties, that any royalties are then donated to charity. And uh, that's what Ted Cruz did recently. We talked about him a couple weeks ago. Uh, he got in trouble for using campaign funds to uh, promote his book, directing people to retailers to buy it. Uh, the FEC investigated, found reason to believe he did violate campaign finance laws. And then he came back and said, oh, I've donated the money to charity. And they let him off the hook that way. So there are ways around that. Um, but the other thing is, if you're a book publisher and, and I'm a senator, which I'm not and never will be, but if I'm a political office holder, you know I have this giant campaign slush fund that I can dip into. So sure, I may not profit directly from any transaction there, but the publisher's gonna know it. It's gonna be in the back of their mind that, okay, uh, the publisher is going to be able to profit from the campaign's purchase because if you buy, you know, two hundred thousand dollars worth of books, that's that's profit still for the publisher. Zach, every time we talk about this, I will still ask you about ethics because it does blow my mind in every single conversation. But 
How does uh, Senator Sanders' uh, $2.5 million in book payments stack up to the other lawmakers that we've talked about? Uh, he's on the higher end. Of all the people I've looked at, he is the second behind Elizabeth Warren there in terms of money they've brought in. Um, you know, I have not checked every single senator out there, and I'm only looking at current ones. But, you know, the, the easiest way to do it is who's written the most books. I mean, and that's, that's it. You know, if you write one good book, you're a proven earner, so you're probably going to keep getting book deals. You know, we're seeing Ted Cruz, who I believe is in uh, third place right now, uh, you know, signed a two book deal, I guess it was last year and has a, a book, you know, already set to come out within the next year or so, I believe. As we know, uh, Bernie Sanders did run for president both in 2016 and 2020. Did these presidential runs boost his sales at all? Um, you know, it, it's tough to tell since most of his books weren't written before then. Um, you know, there, there were only two books that were out before he ran for president, whereas the other ones have all come out afterwards. So um, it certainly seems to have uh, you know, boosted his appeal with publishers, though, um, that he didn't have anything. Now, maybe he just didn't think of the idea. He had no interest in it and all of a sudden decided, OK, you know, I've wanted to do this all along. Let me do it now. Um, but, you know, it's also possible a publisher reached out and said, hey, you've got a national platform. Let's get this thing out here as a book. No, so I reached out to them. They did not respond to any inquiries. Zach Everson, per usual, thank you so much for your reporting. Hope to have you back soon. Thanks for having me.